Hi dear friends, today we are going to deal with diphthongs. Diphthongs also a part of vowels. And in the last class we have discussed about vowels and the rest of the part will be discussed today through this video. Let's begin. So what is diphthongs? Diphthongs are sounds during the articulation of which the tongue starts in the position of a particular vowel and moves in the direction of the position of another vowel within a single syllable within a single syllable that is called diphthongs in short we can say uh, two vowel sounds joined in one syllable to form one speech sound once again two vowel sounds two vowel sounds joined in one syllable to form one speech sound so this is called as diphthongs as we all know there are eight diphthongs in English there are eight diphthongs in English and they are classified into different types let us see what are what are they the first one is closing diphthong first one is closing diphthong and what is closing diphthong these are the diphthong sounds that the sound second vowel is closer than the first vowel second vowel is closer than the first vowel this is called as Closing diphthong. Diphthongs in which the glide is from one vowel position to that of a close or high vowel may be called as closing diphthongs. So, once again, second vowel is closer than the first vowel. That is called as closing diphthongs. Let's see what are the closing diphthongs of English RP. RP means received pronunciation. They are A as in make. Oi as in boy, I as in high, O as in go. And one more is there, O as in how. So five closing diphthongs are there. Once again, A, Oi, I. Then, O, O. These are the closing diphthongs. The closing diphthongs may be classified as follows. Friending diphthongs and retracting diphthongs. Let's see what is friending diphthongs. The diphthongs which glide in the direction of the friend vowel E are called friend vowel E are called friending diphthongs. So the examples are A, OI, I. So these are the friending diphthongs. Now comes retracting diphthongs and what is retracting diphthongs? The diphthongs which glide in the direction of the back vowel U are called retracting diphthongs. Back vowel U. I think you remember what is back vowel, friend vowel and center vowel. It is there in the last class. If you have not watched the video, please do watch and learn it. And back vowel U are called retracting diphthongs. The diphthongs which glide in the direction of the back vowel U are called retracting diphthongs. For example, AU, EU. These two are the retracting diphthongs. So we have learned about closing diphthongs. What are the closing diphthongs? A, OI, I, EU, AU. These are the closing diphthongs and these closing diphthongs also classified into friending diphthongs and retracting diphthongs. Friending diphthongs are A, OI, I and retracting diphthongs are AU, EU. Now comes another subtopic centering diphthongs, another classification. The diphthongs which glide in the direction of the central vowel A uh, are called the centering diphthongs. There are three centering diphthongs in English RP they are RP means received pronunciation and they are ear as in ear air as in air oa as in poor so these three are the centering diphthongs once again what is centering diphthong the diphthongs which glide in the direction of the central vowel a uh, are called the centering diphthongs there are three centering diphthongs in English RP they are Ear as in ear, air as in air, oa as in poor. Let us see some of the other classifications. Diphthongs may also be classified as follows falling diphthongs and rising diphthongs. 
and let us see what is falling diphthongs falling diphthongs diphthongs in which the first element has greater prominence than the second element are called a falling diphthongs diphthongs in which the first element has first element has greater prominence than the second element are called falling diphthongs greater prominence is here for the first element so let us see what are the falling diphthongs all the closing diphthongs all the closing diphthongs and the centering diphthong air in english are falling diphthongs in all these diphthongs the second element is less prominent than the first so let us see what are the falling diphthongs a as in make oi as in boy i as in high au as in go au as in how a air is in air these are the falling diphthongs so all the closing diphthongs and the centering diphthong air also is called as falling diphthongs now let us see what are rising diphthongs the diphthongs with a stronger second element are called the rising diphthongs just opposed to the falling diphthong it is just opposite so the diphthongs with a stronger second element stronger second element are called the rising diphthongs for example in the second syllable of the word period the first element of the diphthong may be the weaker of the two elements this word is not pronounced as period it is period so the first sha sound it is called as sha sound or weaker sound a uh. this a uh is not pronounced much it is a weaker sound here and the second second vowel is uh, pronounced strongly so stronger is the second element so this is the rising diphthongs period period ad so this is a pronounced word the first element of the diphthong may be the weaker of the two elements let us see another example the word let us take the word experience experience so here in the word experience the first ear in experience is falling whereas the second one is rising here you can see this ear is falling the first ear is falling and the second ear is rising experience so this is the stronger one second one is the stronger one and first one is the weaker one now let us see another topic that is triphthong what is triphthong triphthong is a monosyllabic vowel combination of a diphthong and the weak vowel a uh. so there is there are three vowels three vowels will be there that is diphthong plus a sound a triphthong involves a quick but smooth movement of the articulative from one vowel quality to another that passes over a third one example trial here you can see i is the diphthong and the sound a sha sound also is here so three vowel sounds are there one is diphthong and another one is weaker sound a and tire here also you can see i is the diphthong and a uh is the weaker sound usually the closing diphthongs like i a and o are followed by the weak vowel a uh within a syllable in a word i a and o are followed by the weak vowel a uh, within a syllable in a word in words like tire our the closing diphthongs i and au are followed by the weak vowel a uh. here the final vowel a uh, forms an inseparable part of the word you have to remember these things in your mind that is where the diphthong plus a uh, is treated as a single unit the combination is called a triphthong diphthong plus a uh is called as triphthong whereas the diphthong plus a uh is not treated as a single unit when it is not treated as a single unit and the final a uh is a suffix so the words constitute two syllables each 
otherwise there will be one syllable if it is a triphthong there is one syllable and if it is not a triphthong it is not treated as a single unit uh, the a uh is a suffix then there comes two syllables the first syllable containing diphthong and the second one the pure weak vowel a uh. there are five triphthongs they are au plus a uh, lower au plus a uh, flower our oi plus a uh, royal i plus a uh, tire a plus a uh, player here comes the end of this video we have completed vowels in classification of speech sounds if you like this video and if you find it helpful please do share among your friends and subscribe tap the bell icon for getting more videos thank you